right, so it is still Sunday and I just finished up at the co-working space here in Nashville. I'm headed to go meet up with my buddy Kaysen who he, uh, he owns his events business here in Nashville and we're potentially teaming up on that. So he has a bunch of clients here in the Nashville area and my company may be helping him out and offering some of our services to them. So we're just gonna go meet up, hash that out and grab a bra at one of our favorite places here, so. So as you just saw, I just had a meeting with one of the partners with the new business. Um, it's Monday, so it's time to lock back in. The new website is just a couple of days from going live, so we just have a couple final notes to lock in on that, and then it'll be ready. So I'm really, really excited. After a couple weeks of just trial and error on different things, um, it feels really good. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, I have a lot of work to catch up on. I have notes on the new website. I have editing I need to catch up on, and I have to get all this Google stuff organized for the launch of the new website, so I'm gonna get back to that, but Welcome back. It's uh, Monday, so let's get after it. It's been a long day, so I don't have a ton to add to what I was saying earlier, but I'm feeling like a zombie and uh, clocking out for the day. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is Tuesday now, and this week we are very heavily on obviously launching our website for the new company, but also dialing in our back end and our tech stack for, for the new business and to, to manage everything, to manage our team to manage our clients and to manage, of course, projects. This week, I really wanna focus the video kind of on, on that, um, tech stacks and tips and tricks on tech stacks and so on, and even talk about what we are using, which heavily reliant on very typical tools like Google Workspace, Figma, Webflow, all that stuff, but I really wanna dive in and give you guys kind of a clear outlook on what that looks like. We are trying to really streamline our tech stack because previously, with my own agency and even with working with other agencies, and getting onboarded onto their Slack channels or their Notion or you know, their Trello, it can get really convoluted and there's just too many places to go. You know, you're managing your own work, you're managing their channels and, and so on. And our big goal with this is to really streamline the process, not only for us, but for our clients. Because at the end of the day, you're, you're dealing with people who are extremely busy. You know, they're running their own businesses, they're working in their own businesses and they don't wanna to have to be onboarded onto all these new applications and new platforms. So they wanna streamline solution and that's what we are trying to create. Mostly for our clients because we wanna create this really nice, simple, streamlined experience. It's so important and it's so overlooked, I think. You know, a lot of people just get excited, like gotta get a website set up, gotta get my first client, gotta start reaching out to all these people, but then they don't have a plan on the back end once they get these clients. Okay. I like, I mean, we can talk about it. Hey, what's everyone doing November 7th? Should we go to Copper opening day? I don't know. Well, we got a flat today, boys. Six miles from home and, uh, we got our first flat. It's raining out, so I had to had to stay in the basement. We're going tubeless today on the old bike. So it's been a couple years, so hopefully I remember how to uh, how to do this. Got the tire back on. I'm gonna fill her up with some uh, with some sealant. Got this at the old local bike shop here in Nashville. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a uh, a hoodie with pizza stains on it? It's because I'm working on a bike. All right guys, so obviously as I mentioned earlier in the video, I wanna dive in today and talk about kind of our, our tech stack. I think it's super important to make sure that you're picking the, the proper tech stack for your business and for, for many different businesses, obviously this looks different. Let's dive into a little list. I came up with five different points to talk about today. These are kind of key points that I came up with. And like I said, this may look different for you. And if you have different thoughts or ideas on this, I'd love to hear um, kind of your keys in the comments and apologies in advance. I'm back in the co-working space and in this room, it's a little echoey, but I'll try to fix it in, in post. The first point that I want to dive into is keeping it simple and extremely user-friendly. With that, I mean choosing platforms that are easy to use for both your clients and your team. The more intuitive and streamlined your tools are and your process is, the easier the onboarding process for you and your clients and that of course results in many fewer headaches. Clients are, they're busy and they appreciate simplicity. So I think that, 
you know, prioritizing ease of use is a huge, huge benefit. And that's what we're trying to do in our new agency. The second thing is ensuring seamless integration. By this, I mean that you wanna opt for tools that, that work well with each other. This eliminates extra tasks and keeps everything in a nice smooth workflow. That of course makes internal operations and client interactions that much more simple and efficient. The third thing that I wanna talk about is focusing on automation. This one is it's huge and it can help out a ton if there's parts of your process that can be automated. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to incorporate tools that automate any kind of repetitive task, whether it's client invoicing, project tracking, or communication updates. Automation, of course, will save extremely valuable time for you and your team and your clients. And of course, it ensures that any processes that you have can, can run smoothly in the background. The fourth thing is scalability and flexibility. By this, I mean that you wanna, you wanna use tools that will allow your business to grow and that can grow with your business. So your tech stack should be able to adapt as your company scales without needing any constant changes. This helps your team stay much more consistent and reduces friction as your client base will inevitably expand. And for the ease of keeping this video simple and short and sweet and to the point, the fifth and final thing is security and reliability definitely matter. You're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that your tech stack prioritizes security and reliability, especially with client data and client information. Anyways, that's this week's really quick tips and tricks and I, I hope this helps in some a form or in some way. Um, I think that choosing your tech stack can obviously be a make or break situation with your with your brand new business. So explore what's out there, explore what works for you guys. And I'm excited to hear hopefully what you guys use in the comments below, anyone that already has a tech stack and utilizes it. All right guys, so this week's video is probably gonna end right around here. Um, I know this one's been kind of all over the place and I'm still trying to figure out the whole formatting and whatnot for, for this series and these new videos. This is all brand new to me here on this channel, so I'm still trying to just figure out what people are stoked on, what people are interested in, and, and so on. So if you have any input on that, I would love to hear it in the comments. Are you loving the biking stuff? Are you loving the business stuff? Are you loving just a blend of, of both? If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I'm so jazzed to keep making these videos and bring you guys along. I already have quite a few different videos in mind, including you know how I work and travel and bringing you along on my travels while, while I'm working and building this new business, doing some random day in the life stuff um, while I'm traveling and while I'm here at home kind of bringing you through what a full day looks like with me. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, I'm stoked to continue making these videos and put them out weekly. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, I'm really stoked to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you next week. Peace.